My family's from New Orleans. Being from New Orleans, we're lovers of seafood. As a matter of fact, no other food group existed to me. You ready? Yeah. What makes my seafood so good? It's the gourmet herbs and spices that gives me my secret recipe. You gotta try it. Here you go. We were in New Orleans with Katrina Hit. We had two restaurants there. And all in one day, everything changed. Everything was lost. All that survived were two fires. Me and my dad hit the road all across the country. Boy, this is good. This is good. This is the one right here. My dad heavily invested in our business. He gave me his entire retirement. Him and my mom sold their house and have been immersed in this business since. We are all in, financially, spiritually. Everything is riding on Joe's. And we wouldn't have it any other way. We wouldn't. I'm Joe Dowell. And I'm his wife, Miranda Dowell. And we're here from Atlanta, Georgia, seeking an investment of $150,000 for a 15% stake in our company, Joe's Gourmet Fish Fry. We are here to introduce you to a product that will change the way you eat seafood forever. Now anyone can make the best tasting seafood at home with Joe's Gourmet Fish Fry. It is a delicious, all-in-one seafood breading mix that's crushing <laughs> any other breading mix. And it's not just for seafood. You can bake or air fry with it. Mm. You want crispy fried chicken? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try Joe's. How about savory fried green tomatoes? Try Joe's. Mm. Scrumptious crab cakes, anyone? I'll take one. Try Joe's. <laughs> Over the years, we have one simple truth. When people try it, oh, oh they, they go buy, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, who's ready to try it? Oh, we got to try it. Buy it. Definitely. And have the whole world experience their own emotional reaction to <laughs> Joe's Gourmet Fish Fry. <laughs> <laughs> So let's, excited. Let's get yeah. down to business, folks. <laughs> okay, yeah. Try this. This is the real deal. What you're about to taste is the truth, folks. What we got here is just to show you how Thank versatile you. the, the breading is. is. We have shrimp, some uh, awesome. zucchini, wow. a piece of halibut, even a scallop. Oh my God, the chicken is fantastic. Oh, oh. You like oh it? yes. That's the oh, yeah. that's what we were waiting on. That right mm. there. Mm. The shrimp. It's mm. so good. You complete really me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. Can we see Can the we bag? Can we get some bags? Yeah, absolutely. So it's called fish fry, but you've applied it to both vegetables. Anything it, you can fry, right? Anything. Thank and you, it's Ryan. on the packaging, the different applications you can use it on. Or you could add not just fish fry. There Thank you go. You. Absolutely. OK, what are your numbers? One bag costs us $1.22 to make. We sell it directly to the consumer for $5. When we sell it to a wholesaler, it's from $2.25 to $2.75. And our retailers sell it anywhere from $2.99 to $4.25. What are your lifetime sales to date? We've sold $409,000 worth of products. And this That's year, really what do you think you'll do this year? This year, we're going to finish out at about 270 And next year, we're projecting 450 And the Good reason being, we've only been in Walmart. This is our seventh week, guys. Yeah. Oh, and wow. the sales are climbing. We're super excited. And, and have you done any, any on-site, on-premise? Absolutely. Absolutely. You've done on-premise? That on is what we do. Every week, you will find us selling somewhere. We go out there with three pallets of our product, and we don't leave until it's so you still right. do that today? That's clever. We Absolutely. Still do it. Well, Every week. How did you and Miranda come up with this? Well, I'm just a blue collar worker. You know, I started off. No, this where... thing is just. Well, nothing absolutely. wrong with yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. I started off in manufacturing, but I found my passion when I started waiting tables. You know, I enjoyed serving others. So I saved up my money, called my dad and said, hey, I got a great idea. Why don't you give me all your money? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, surprisingly, he did. He did. 
And uh, so we went into business, opened up my first restaurant, and that's where I met this lovely young lady. Yeah, so we met the first time in one of his restaurants. I went in to sell him some advertising. But the funny story is, you guys, as soon as I walked in his restaurant, I met him. He said, you know what? I think you're the woman I'm going to marry. Yeah, Aww. I did. Aww. I didn't see him again for eight years after that. No. Seriously, I saw him on the corner in this little tent that you see on the back with his dad. The other Joe. Selling these fish plates. And he walks up to my car and he says, are you married? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and he said, you know what? You're about to be. And two weeks later, I had this ring on my no. finger. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, how long were you doing the business, um, the restaurant business? Well, the restaurant's done very well. We end up opening up six restaurants. Okay. Wow. That's good. They still going? Absolutely not. Oh. Ooh. Well, being from New Orleans, Katrina hit and kind of uh -huh. shut everything down. Oh, my God. But the only thing that was saved in there, I had these two fryers that was in storage. So I took a tent, grabbed those two fryers, and I went to any festival, any concert from Chicago to Miami and everything in between, selling this finished product. And how long were you doing that, just hitting the streets? Uh, um, that was about 15 years. Yeah, about 15, 15 years. 15 years of hitting the corner? I got some fries in the car right now. I'm still frying fish. <laughs> <laughs> Sergio, were you selling the product in grocery stores, or were you just driving around to festivals, frying food and selling it? So I'll tell you how that happened. One day, I went out to the festival. He had a line of people wanting food in the front, but then he had people with, like, Tupperware and baggies, and he's like, I don't have time for those people. They want to take it home, and they want to fry it themselves, and I'm trying yeah. to make some money yeah. out here. And the light bulb went off, and I said, dude, this is our business. Let's bag it and sell it. How long ago was that, Miranda? This is our third year. So I went out to our little local grocery store. They've got about eight locations. And it just started selling. Is this still in New Orleans? No. We're in, we live in Atlanta now. So no, basically, okay. since those eight stores, we're now in 800 stores. We're in 315 Walmart stores. We're going into 52 Kroger stores. We're in 142 wow. Publix. Wow. Fire wow. and HEB. And that is really hard to do. All right. How much of your money uh, do you have invested in this business? Um, it's a total of 50000 from the family. Well, my dad owns uh, 85. 80, 85%. Why? Wow. But, but here's the deal, guys. We are a very strong-knit family. If you knew me back in the day, my credit was zero. Okay. <laughs> I'm right there with you. So, <laughs> so you. in order to get this thing rolling, he was our front guy. All right, guys, I'm just looking at it and saying to myself, okay, how do I get there as an investor? You asked me for 15% here for $150,000. That imputes a million dollar value, okay? Yes. As an investor, how many times am I paying to get to that million value? 25 times. There are no food companies on the planet Earth trading at a 25 multiple for fish fry, okay? Well, let me tell you this. What you're missing is the consumer. Well, I'm not missing them. This is how all, like you say, your little soldiers, your money soldiers? Yeah, yeah. This is how... <laughs> I don't want them to die. Dead. I don't want them to die. I want them to come back with prisoners. You know so that. So listen, so the consumer is this. That is where our expertise is. Go but out. Joe Jr., you're not worth a million bucks, buddy. I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? You be making a great bet, Kevin? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. To give you $150,000, i would have to get about 50% of your business. That's what it's worth today. I'm not saying you won't grow it, but I'm out. Well, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts. For me, it tasted fabulous, but not every business to me is right for an investor. I think you're doing great. I think you're an amazing salesperson and you're killing it at the fairs, but I wouldn't feel good investing. And for that reason, I'm out. Thank right. you. Thank okay, you. so kind of from my perspective, it's got to be a product that not just that I love, but I can demonstrate. My idea of cooking is taking a hot dog, wrapping it in a paper towel, mm -hmm. and putting it in the microwave and saying, damn, this is good. Right. It's just not a product that really fits who I am, so I'm out. But I congratulate you. Thank you. You guys grind. You guys hustle. You're a perfect example of if an entrepreneur is relentless, anything is possible. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. You know, to Mark's point, I love you guys. You're smiling, we're throwing a lot of stuff at you. Here's what I don't know. 
How do I invest 150,000 when your dad owns 85% of it? Well, he has given all authority to Joe to make the decision. Absolutely. I can't make you an offer under which you're still going to be smiling. I, I you just can can't. You can try, Robert. I can't do it. I'm out. But you still then have one shark one. left. I think we've all been wrestling with a, a couple of things here. Yes, the valuation. But here's why I love you. You're standing on corners. And when you stand on corners, you are getting paid to have a focus group. You know what your customers like and yeah. don't like. I stood on corners eight years trying to sell my hats. And when you stand on the corner of the Apollo Theater trying yes, to sell sir. a hat in the middle of Harlem, I they tell you too. what they think about your hat and your mama. <laughs> you know right? You know them. So I get it. Right. I've got an offer for you. $150,000 for 25%. Say yes. Say yes to that deal. That's a good one. Say yes. Eighteen, you have a deal. No! Oh, no. no. <laughs> we'll do twenty-five. All right, you got a deal. Dave. I just tried it, and guess what I did? Yeah, yeah. I had to buy it, baby. <laughs> Here you go. Appreciate it, baby. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You so thank, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Hey, we're going to make so much money. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so, over here, David. Miranda, yeah. you just yeah. sold fish fry for $600,000 valuation. Wow. Now that is selling. A deal with Damon <laughs> is amazing. He went all in, and we are so grateful. <laughs> Dive into the Shark Tank YouTube channel and subscribe now.